On behalf of VMware and Kerasoft, we would like to welcome you to today's podcast, focused around meeting modern healthcare needs with mobility management, with special guest Mark Bentford, CEO of Mobile Integrate, discussing insights into unique healthcare enterprise mobility management requirements, mobile device management, and how these tools can transform your organization to be more efficient and effective. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Bentford from Mobile Integrate. And I am uh, uh, work with Mobile Integrate and with great customers uh, in the healthcare vertical on how to bring mobility solutions into the enterprise. Even though we work with different verticals, uh, like for example, retail, hospitality, oil and gas, uh, government, uh, SLED, um, most of our customers are in the healthcare field and we have, have a ton of experience in working with healthcare on bringing in these mobile devices into their environment. For starters, a lot of times when a healthcare organization is bringing devices into it, there's a lot of things that that device touches, everything from security to networking to the applications that go into the device lifecycle management. So today's meeting, what we'd like to talk about is what are those unique healthcare EMM requirements? And EMM is the acronym for Enterprise uh, Mobility Management, which we'll talk a lot about in this presentation. And how does Workspace ONE UEM, which is the next evolution of EMM, which is Unified Endpoint Management, able to meet those healthcare needs and unify those different endpoints that are inside of a typical healthcare organization. And how that those UEM has those migration um, to unify those tools to bring everything together, especially if you're coming from other uh, EMM or UEM platforms. And then we'll talk through single sign-on as well to help make the life of the clinicians, the nurses and doctors easier as they sign into and out of these devices. And instead of putting in passcodes for every single application, if they're using passcodes for the device themselves, uh, we have some very easy ways of doing single sign-on where you can simply tap your badge and get into the applications uh, that you want to get into and also get into the device. And uh, that's done with Workspace ONE Access uh, as well with Workspace ONE UEM. And then also we're going to talk about customer best practices. As I was indicating before, there's a lot of ways that an organization may want to bring devices into their environment, but they don't think through, well, how do those devices impact other things in the environment? Are the devices impacting um, other things competing for uh, our networking, like you know, blood pumps or, or telemetry systems? So we're going to talk through that. And of course, day two support. What happens after these devices are deployed? When there's an issue, uh, who do you call? Or what happens? Um, what happens if a nurse can't properly scan a, a barcode or our phlebotomist can't scan a blood sample? So we can talk through that. So as you know, healthcare is transformed before our eyes. It was once strictly focused on patient outcomes, healthcare businesses. They are evolving to carefully and to equally about patient outcomes and patient satisfaction. And that's because from care clinics to hospitals, telemedicine to resell, pharma, and specialists to general practitioners, patients have more choice than ever. And as you know, tablets and smartphones are already making a significant impact on care. As a matter of fact, this year, it's estimated that 65% of interactions with healthcare facilities will occur by mobile devices. And even though these numbers are pretty uh, new, they're actually changing because uh, nobody saw the, the freight train of COVID late last year. So we're actually seeing those numbers expanding uh, even faster. For example, 80% of doctors today are saying that they're using smartphones with their medical app, and 72% are accessing drug information on smartphones on a regular basis. And we've seen those numbers go up as well as you're seeing more patients taking advantage of health at home capabilities uh, so they can stay out of the hospital or stay out of the, the hospital for uh, medical visits and able to communicate with their care team online using those mobile devices. And of course, more than 40% of all data breaches, uh, data breaches occurred in healthcare industry over the past three years. And 91% of all healthcare organizations reported that at least one data breach has occurred in the previous two years. So data security is extremely important. Um, getting that information securely so PII, case identifiable information, is not disclosed to anybody outside of the patient and that the care team that they are working with. 